What's up, YouTube? I'm back again, your boy Jesus. We get another video. This time it's not shoes, it's a clothing item. A little bit of backstory. I've been waiting for this item for July 6th, so, or since July 6th, almost a two and a half month wait. Uh, there was basically no updates on this item since I've been kind of just waiting for it to show up. Uh, there was one update, but it was supposed to ship on the 10th. It didn't, it shipped on Monday. Uh, I got it yesterday. And I'm not doing it now. Uh, here's the box. I'm gonna cover my address. But uh, y'all may be thinking, oh, it's a small box. It's probably an iPhone. It's not. Uh, that probably won't be coming for a while. But small on my box. I'm gonna grab my little blade and we're gonna open this up because I'm I'm ecstatic. I've been waiting for this for months. So let's get this open. This box does not want to open. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna cut to when I have it open because this joint don't want to open. I finally got the box open. Took me a little bit of struggle. Just didn't want to cooperate with me. But uh, I'm super excited for this. Just looking at it, I'm tell by smile on my face. I've been waiting months for this. So for this to finally be in my hand, looking at it in person, I cannot wait to wear this. So as y'all see, it is a purple Lakers jersey, uh, a LeBron James jersey at that. Uh, as y'all know, we signed him over the summer. Super ecstatic, uh, best player, debatable, uh, is now a Laker. But I went ahead and ordered the purple. There were two other colors. It was the, the gold and then the white. I am probably getting the white one, just another player sometime in the season. But uh, starting with the back. And nothing too out of the ordinary from a jersey. Uh, you got James's last name, and then his number, the uh, 23. The inside is the yellow, and it's outlined in white. Uh, you got your NBA logo there. Uh, moving on the sides, which is probably the most debated thing this season about the, the Lakers jerseys. They went in and added a black stripe down the side. Personally, I like it. I don't think it looks too out of place. If you guys have seen the shorts, it looks amazing on the shorts. The jersey, it looks good, but on the shorts, it looks fantastic. So if anyone knows why I can get the purple shorts, please leave it in the comments, because I'm looking for those too. Moving on to the front, you have your standard Nike swoosh. Uh, your Lakers is in that same, that same color blocking as the back of the jersey. The inside is yellow. White stitching, 23. Uh, on the bottom, you have your N Nike Connect patch. If you haven't, if you haven't owned a jersey from the last two years, it's basically an, an interactive way to you for you to see highlights, videos, all that. Uh, I'll leave like a leave like a video of me doing it, just so you guys can see what it does. Uh, the Nike Connect tag, then you have your standard NBA branding, your standard fit, and then your tag. Uh, and then, all y'all probably wondering, what's that patch up top? Uh, my jersey doesn't have that. So if you order from the team stores, or I think there's one other place you can get them. But they have the official sponsor patch. Uh, that's why I went ahead and ordered from Lakers store and instead of waiting for another store to get it, because I wanted this one as close to an authentic jersey as possible without spinning all that bread. But yeah, this is the Lakers statement jersey. Uh, before last year, it was their road jerseys. We tend to wear purple on the road a lot, which I love. Uh, purple is one of my favorite colors. But I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna cut to uh, the B-roll and then me actually trying it on. Uh, so I, I did get this one a medium. These tend to fit more like t-shirts. Uh, my medium t-shirts, just I like them a little tighter. But enough of me rambling. Uh, I will see y'all when, in just just a second, when I try this on for y'all. All right, cool. So here has it. Here here is how it fits without a t-shirt on it. Uh, I'm probably not gonna wear it like this often. At least uh, it's starting to get colder, so I probably have to have a t-shirt on over it. But here it is. 
Again, like I said, these feel like t-shirts. So the length is a little bit shorter than normal jerseys. I know like all my older jerseys, they have like a plus two length. So they're a little bit longer. But I really like this way it fits. Again, I'm about six feet, uh, 150, 160 pounds of pound. Pay on day. Uh, but I really like the way these fit. Uh, last year's jerseys, they were cut a lot different. Uh, and they kind of hung off here. These tuck, and I love it. Uh, but I'm gonna switch y'all how it looks with a shirt. Uh, probably do a white shirt, oh, only because the edges are white. So it looks a little bit more streamlined. But give me a second, I'm gonna switch that right now. Yeah, so here's how it looks with the t-shirt on. Like I said, these don't really look bad with t-shirts on. Uh, especially in the quarter months, you throw a t-shirt on there at the hoodie, you're good to go. But I, 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 arguably, I like wearing these with t-shirts. I just feel they like feel a lot better because uh, the heat pressing is not up against your skin directly. It's kind of laying on the t-shirt so you don't feel as much. But yeah, uh, I'm going to switch to the other camera so you can see the close-up looks. Actually, see the color and whatnot. Uh, but again, if you're looking to buy one, I'm 6 feet, uh, 150 pounds, give or take. So if you're looking... Medium, if you're on that size, the medium definitely fits me the best. Alright, what's different? Uh, I will see you on the next video. Uh, stay tuned for, again, like I said, the uh, close up looks.